Hi guys, we are going to shoot tonight because the weather is gorgeous and the sky is gorgeous and the conditions are gorgeous. So we're gonna shoot tonight, but in order to show you how we get things going, we're gonna do it while the sun's still up so we can do a video because when it gets dark, it's hard to do. So I've got my computer. We're gonna go out to the dome. We're gonna open it up. We're gonna connect everything so you can get an idea of what it is that we do to start the night when we're gonna shoot. So come on. And look at, at the... Aim at the sky. Show how pretty the sky is. And it's just supposed to stay prettier and prettier all throughout the night. All right. Can't see me. <laughs> Put my finger in front of it. That's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is very small space. It's hard to do and it's going to be hard to do well. Put your laptop over here. Oh, perfect. Okay. What is that? That's where you'll have to be good at editing. This is where, no, I'm not editing anything. I don't care. We just want to show you how to do it. So there's an order of operation. So if you look right here, this is the power box. This is our Pegasus Astro power box. It powers everything. The camera's connected to it, the focuser's connected to it, the uh, mount is connected to it, everything's connected to it. So in order to get things up and going, I'm going to connect, I'm going to turn the switches on that we're gonna need for this. So over here in Nina, <clears throat> this is the program that we use. I'm gonna start by going right here to the switch. And then from here, I'm going to toggle on the mount. You heard it click, I did anyway. Toggle on the camera. And I'm gonna to toggle on, if I can get it down just a tiny bit more, the focuser. <clears throat> okay. And then everything that we need is already turned on on this side. And then from here, I'm gonna go through my checklist of things. I'm sure you can kind of see me too. Nope. <laughs> I'm gonna go through the checklist of things and connect everything one by one. So right now we're on the camera. I use a ZWO ASI 2600 MC Pro. Show them what it looks like. <coughs> it's this red cylindrical piece of equipment right there. It's, a, it's an Astro cooling camera. It has a fan in it. So it keeps it cool as the sensor heats up and shoots throughout the night. So we're gonna go ahead and connect that. Connected. Now we're going to go to the focuser. We use a night crawler focuser. That's this big guy right here. We're going to connect it. The rotator is also part of the focuser, so it will rotate the camera and the, I have a reducer on mine, so it rotates the camera and reducer so you can frame your target that you're going for pretty well. <clears throat> so, we are going to connect the rotator. And then the telescope is the mount here. This is the mount. This is the Rainbow Astro RST 300 mount. This is a hand-me-down from my husband. So we're gonna connect the mount. And then the guider and some of these other things, you can't connect your guider. The guide scope on here is right here. This is a 120 millimeter uh, mini scope. It's a, it's a ZWO mini scope. And this is what we use to multi star guide throughout an evening. So you can't have your guider connected here unless you have your, your software to run it pulled up. And we use PhD Guiding 2. <clears throat> so I'll just go ahead and open it. And then we can connect it. All right. And then if you go back to here, once it's connected, you can see that it's showing white here. And that's because the cap is off and it's actually aimed at the wall of the dome. So it's connected, it's showing that. But when you're actually shooting, all you'll see is stars and it'll be guiding on the stars as you go. All right, so next things, next things, next. Okay, what have we got here? So we wanna come down to the dome. Wait a minute, am I wrong here, babe? Oh no, I want to connect the dome. Haha, <laughs> I thought I already connected it. Okay, so now the dome is also connected now. You can see the dome. It's pretty cool. 
This is the motor for the shutter. This is the shutter here. So it's gonna, it's gonna go back when I tell it to go back. And I'm going to open it right now. And there's a little button right here in the software that says open shutter. So open shutter. And then I'm going to click over here where the dome follows the telescope. Well, I'm gonna home the telescope first. So we're gonna home the telescope first. It's gonna move just a little bit find its home position here. It's getting brighter in here because the shutter is opening, by the way. It's a beautiful sky. It's a perfect night to try. We've got some galaxies. We're thinking about going for one of the galaxies, maybe Bodes and Cigar or the Needle. The Needle Galaxy is so cool, but it would be better in his big scope. We don't have his. If you look over there, we've got another dome in the works. Once we get that dome set up, we're going to put my husband's stuff in it, and he's got big, he's got a big telescope um, and a bigger mount, and we'll be able to be further in on our targets for like smaller galaxies. So mine works okay for that, but his is going to be amazing. Okay, so we've got this open. I'm gonna go back down to here. No, wait, is it here? Yeah, don't fall asleep. And now, what's gonna happen is the dome is gonna come over here and meet up with where this is pointing out the, so it'll be out the shutter window. It's so dusty. It's been so long. Poor baby. Why don't you park the telescope so that they can, they, everybody can see the dome follow the telescope. So that it's actually pointed north? Yeah, just hit park. And on the telescope? The telescope. Mm -hmm. yeah. telescope. And so this will move them together and it's going to go, this is going to go to the polar alignment or the, <clears throat> the north position, correct? Yeah. Okay, because it's already polar aligned. But when we hit park, the telescope's going to move. Mm -hmm. And right now we're facing northwest. So we want to go due north with this when we do parking or whatever. Like it's just a good place to start when you're when you're at the beginning of it all. I guess I could force it to go somewhere and show them how it moves when it's going to a target. Yeah, if you want to. Would, would, should I do that? Yeah. I gotta remember how to do this in here because I thought it was a little bit different this time around, but I think I can figure it out. Stellarium, right? Yeah, I just pick something in Stellarium. Okay. Pretty much anything. Stellarium is the, um, it's the, how do you describe it? It's the finding software. The finding software. I don't know what else to say. It's like, it shows us the sky. It shows us what we can see where we are. It's planetarium. Plan planetarium. I couldn't think of the word. It's planetarium software. I just so, uh, pick something towards the south. This is why I have to get my husband involved here. Okay, so something towards the south. Oh, so just pick. Yeah, just, just move scroll. it. Scroll. I mean, you can't see anything. It's broad daylight. So. South. Sure. Why not? That would give it a good movement. What kind of high up? Sure. Okay. And then how do we make it move again? Because we haven't done this in a while. Okay, well, you're picked there, so mm -hmm. go back to Nina. Okay, go back to Nina. This changed over the time here. And go to your framing assistant. Framing. And then uh, you want to make sure that you're on offline sky map, mm -hmm. so you don't connect to the internet or any of that nonsense. Put the little coordinate button there. Right here. That's get coordinates from, from the, planetarium. From planetarium. So it pulls up your coordinates, and apparently we're on... Sirius. Sirius, okay. Yep, we're on Sirius. Okay. There's a big star. Mm-hmm. And then uh, just slew and center. It's is not, it slew center? You can just, if you click on that, you can just slew too. You don't have to center. Because if you do slew and center, it's going to try to plate solve. And so should I just do slew? Yeah, just do slew. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Oh. Oh, you're still parked. Uh oh. Oh, I'm still parked. Yeah, see so how so Nina tells you exactly what's wrong? Oh, error, error. You're still parked. Kind of nice, but then this is in the way of me actually unparking the thing. Yeah. So, okay, so yeah, unpark. unpark. 
And the dome's not parked here, right? No. No, okay. So then we go back to framing, and then we go back down here, and we hit slew. Mm -hmm. So this is like if we were acting like we were shooting throughout the night, this is what would happen. So now the dome is turning, and the telescope is turning with it, all together. So when we're on the target, as things move throughout the night, it will stay together and it will follow the, the dome and the, the telescope. It'll keep the telescope in the window all night for shooting. But when you're rotating there to get there, when you're slewing everything to get there, the telescope, for instance, beat the dome there. So the dome is still working its way to get into position, but the telescope already made it. So, and we've got trees this direction, so it would be blocked anyway, but this is where Sirius, the star Sirius is right now, so. Anyway, um, should I shut it down sure. for you guys? Okay, now this is a little awkward. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we want to go to... And normally, normally it's done. This is all done from the house. Inside, but I wanted you to be able to see what actually happens with the dome. But usually I'm inside of a chair or he's at his computer and we're running all of this remotely. But I wanted you to see how it all opens and moves because it's kind of cool and at night it's just not as cool because you can't see it so well. Okay, so do I want to home the scope? Um, yeah, you might as well. Home that'll, it. that'll get the, the scope back. You can, in the meantime, just tell the dome not to follow. And then you can park the dome. So all of these mounts with these telescopes have home positions or park positions. And this park position on this one is different from home. Are, are all of them like that? Yeah, they all vary. Some will go north, some will go, you know, east, some will go west. Um, you can you can set you can set your own park and home position if you really wanted to. Well, not home position, but park position. Home basically is telling it where uh, I guess where it is. So you know, you first power it on. The telescope has no idea where it is. So there's some little sensors or stops or you know every manufacturer is a little different and it tells it exactly where it is so this one just happens to point west this one points west but then the, the park position for this is is at the is north it's in alignment with the polar alignment yeah and that's typical park is usually that well for these mounts right said but you it, said you could change you could depends on manufacturer I, I i set this one for park to be north nice well, and as you can see, now that we're, so now it's gonna get darker in here because the shutter's gonna close. This is still finding home, so it's still moving a little bit. It's kind of going back and forth, figuring out where it is, getting its uh, bearings, and it's there. That's home for that guy. And then we'll get the shutter down, and then we'll disconnect everything, but. I want to do another video while I'm actually, after everything is connected, and hopefully tonight we can do it, after everything's connected, and how you start, where you go from here, like how you start imaging something, and then showing how you can kind of walk away from it for the rest of the night, and, and he's even figured out, because he's the brains, I'm the beauty, no, anyway, he's figured it out <laughs> where he can set the dome and everything to shut down at a certain time. So we can go to bed and four in the morning, it'll shut itself down. So we don't have to stay up to shut everything down all over again. So from here, we've got everything's homed, right? So I can just start disconnecting now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna disconnect the camera, okay. We're going to disconnect the focuser, okay. Disconnect the rotator, okay. Disconnect connect the, the, it says telescope, but it's actually the mount for the telescope. The guider, we can disconnect that. And in the switch, we'll just go back to the way it was before we even came out here, and we'll turn, we'll toggle the switch for the mount off. We'll toggle the switch for the camera off and we'll toggle the switch for the focuser off. And we can close our guiding and we can close our planetarium software. Thank you, my love. What would I do without you? 
So that's it. That's it in a nutshell. I will, I'll tell you, you know, I already told you about the camera, the, the focuser, and the guide scope, the, and the mount. The telescope is a William Optics 103 refractor scope. It's all glass. It's like a giant camera lens, basically. This is a doublet. So can you explain a doublet? No. We can't. It's got, I know it's just got two, it's got two lenses in it, right? Okay. And the two lenses, they help with the incoming light. There are triplets that will help even with more things, but they'll help with things like focusing and color and stuff like that. So anyway, I guess that's probably the peas and carrots. Anything you want to add? He shakes his head. He's not a social guy, but he's, he's a good guy. All right, so when we get it set up and running, I'm going to try to get it going tonight, and hopefully I can get a video of how we go about getting it going once everything's connected and everything's open and everything's, the camera's cooled and everything's ready to go. Okay, we'll see you then. Stay tuned.